Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I got a new, I, I call it a power station. Oh, excuse me, I might have bumped the camera. Let me check. Okay. I, I got a new power station. Um, this one's about five or six years old and it was still working okay, but uh, batteries inside of these things don't last forever. They're both rechargeable and uh, this and they both jump start vehicles and they have tire pressure uh, pumps you know compressors to put air in your tires so very similar uh, however this one has also got well it looks like it's got AC power coming out and it's got a USB uh, connection so you can charge up your phone camera whatever um, so I thought this seemed like a, a good idea it, it costs more money this was 80 bucks this I think was 65 um, they both weigh about the same this one has thousand peak amps output to jump your car. This one I could not find anything on it anywhere that gives me the peak power outputs. Uh, this has got the cat brand on it. That doesn't really impress me very much. They sell their name to different companies to uh, make money. <laughs> and this one's got power station, so whatever. That is not a huge brand name. Uh, so I'm going to open this up for you and uh, show you the, the features and uh, see if this helps you out. Sorry, I keep bumping that camera. Okay, so I get it out of the box and uh, they're about the same size. One of the things I go by when you look at these jump starter and compressor combinations is the size of the battery and you can't really see the size of the battery. Um, but I go by weight. Uh, about the same. This one might be a little bit heavier. But for all I know, I know this could be lithium ion. This could be a different one. I, I don't know. It doesn't really say. Maybe in here it says what kind of battery it has. Uh, but uh, let's look at some of the features. You know, they both have a light. This has DC out, what we used to call a cigarette lighter plug. This one does not. They both have power switches to turn to turn it on. This one. Yeah. That one has a switch in the back. This one has a switch up front. Uh, battery charging status. This one has a little light that goes green and red. This one has different oh, switch is kind of loose. Um, this has uh, oh, it's got a little bit of charge in it, left and right. Now this one has the 110 out, which is nice. This one does not. That's how you turn your 110 power on and off. It has the USB. Uh, let's look at the compressor part. All right, here's your. Uh, first, let's look at these. That has a nice clamp, and that one has a nice clamp too. A little bit bigger, but that's not really going to matter. This one does have rubber coating on the the jaws. This one doesn't have rubber coating. So they both have a uh, the cables. You, know, you can't see what's really inside these cables. Let me flex them a little bit. This could be a little bit heavier duty cable. Let's see if it has a writing on it. Cables should have 
cable size written on them and this one does not and this one duh well it says HY 16 millimeter 105 degrees centigrade that's a temperature rating so usually I look for gauges like 10 gauge 12 gauge 16 and so like you see on household cords so I'm not sure what the 16 millimeter and it has a 2 so 16 millimeter squared who knows if somebody knows put it down in the comments please so now let's look at the uh, compressor parts Oh, this does have DC out. My bad. But it doesn't have 110 out. This is where you plug it in to uh, get things recharged. I never even looked in there. Okay, so here's your air compressor. Whoops, that's a little bit short, but it probably, all right, and that screws on. I like that actually, that it screws on to the valve stem instead of having one of those clip on ones. This is much more secure, screw on. This one, here it is. See what I mean? This one's clip-on. It always worked, so, but still, I like those. And as far as the length of it, there you go. You can see this one was a little bit longer. I would have liked to have a little bit longer on this, so just for what it's worth. Now... That might be where you have to plug it in to recharge. So let me uh, let me go off camera here and read a little bit of this book, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I took a little look at the book. It is a lead acid battery. It's probably a seal. Obviously, it's sealed lead acid battery. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't be able to do this. And uh, the other one was. I'm sure lead acid battery also so battery size I'm just taking a WAG that they're about the same uh, this uh, it did come actually well whoops it's uh, if you press that once it's just uh, probably on a low charge I don't know if you hold it it goes all the way up to full so I'll have to figure that out a little bit. It's got a reverse polarity warning, so if you put these uh, jump start uh, cables wrong, this will light up. If you're paying attention, you'll realize that before you turn it on. So, everything you can see here on the front side, I, I would think if you use this 110, and I mean, you could use it for like a drill. If you had like a 110 drill you needed to use, or, or a, a 110 bigger light than what this is to use, but it's probably going to drain pretty fast. I'm not going to do any tests on how long it, it, it lasts for anything. But you get all your controls here, nothing there, nothing there. And then you got your air pump in the back and your connections to jump start. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to charge up. Oh, it does not come with a, a cable uh, to charge it up. So you have to get like a short or whatever length you want uh, extension cable and just plug it in there and plug it in the wall. So the other one did come with a little extension cable. So minor difference there. Uh, that's about it. What does this say? Remove before use. Seal tape. Oh, that's the uh, that's the on off of the compressor. 
and it looks like there's like a little I don't know what that is I'll have to figure that out anyway on off with the compressor right there so give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more from froggy mostly automotive but household repair and anything else I find interesting so see you later guys and gals froggy out bye bye one last thing um, it's it, it had this little plastic piece that says remove this before starting and that was just I guess so that this didn't turn on while it was being shipped or something but that's your compressor it's obviously a, a small uh, compressor that does not require oil to run it's an oil free compressor and uh, I, I'll have to test that out when I'm you know froggy does autocross and track events so I'll test that out when I go uh, but it, it sounds about the same as the other one. Okay? See ya. Bye-bye.